So besides Nintendo finally showing us Link's glory hole, N Nintendo has actually captured the number one selling game for 2023. Let's talk about it. Nintendo has been the best selling physical game in 9 of 18 European countries this year ahead of FIFA 23 and Hogwarts Legacy. We are talking about none other than Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. It has been a massive hit. New physical sales data has revealed it was the best selling game in Europe as a whole over the last six months since its release. It's been number one in Austria, Finland, France, Germany, Norway, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, and the UK, which includes the three biggest markets for the region. Hogwarts Legacy has been the second bestseller, although it only came number one in four countries, Belgium, Denmark, Netherlands, and Czech Republic, while FIFA 23 came first in five, which is Hungary, Italy, Poland, Portugal, and Slovakia. The only other games to make the top three in any country were Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, which still has a big selling base, even though it's a game that's about four to five years old with new content, yes, but not really because it's remake content, and NHL 23, of course, the football fans out there, at number three in Slovakia, which also was was only the country that Zelda was not in the top three four, right? Uh, those results are all the more impressive when you consider Tears of the Kingdom only came out May twelfth, and yet Hogwarts Legacy has been out since early February on Xbox Series X, PlayStation Five, and PC. Better consoles by certain standards, I guess. Um, but it outsold them all. Tears of the Kingdom sold 10 million copies worldwide in its first three days on sale and its best-selling Nintendo game ever in both Europe and North America. And if you saw our video yesterday, that number is probably just going to increase twice as much or twice or twofold because there's now a sale on Amazon. I don't know if the Prime Day sale is over, but there's still a sale currently on Tears of the Kingdom. Imagine a game that came out just in May. That's May, June, July. Three months. And it's already on sale after hitting a 10 million copy sale record in three days. So be sure to catch your copy if you still haven't yet picked it up. These results do not include digital sales, but that's unlikely to make much difference proportionally as digital downloads are now almost as popular on Switch as other formats. So these numbers are actually only physical copies not digital copies which a lot of persons did get or a lot of content creators do get to play the game and keep their physical copies as collector's items whether the game will end up as the best selling game of the entire year because we still have another half of the year to go it's hard to say and it's relatively unlikely unless call of duty modern warfare 3 proves unusually unpopular for ea sports or fc24 doesn't take off as expected which is supposed to come out soon you can check that video on the channel as well maybe they drop call of duty on the switch as well this year who knows that's a possibility maybe it's already in the works they did say they were going to bring it to mobile so i mean that's an easy port over to the switch once microsoft once again a video that we did this week or last week i believe acquires activision stay tuned for that happening i think this month on the 18th which is today isn't that today yeah We'll check back on that news and update you all. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think that Zelda is worth taking the number one spot uh, for the year as best-selling game in physical copies over the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC games? Let me know if Nintendo Switch is your favorite console or which console is your favorite. And if you have Tears of the Kingdom, how would you rate it on a scale of 1 to 5 stars? Let me know as well in the comments down below. It's your boy Firefox. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Until next time, peace out.